small one, Angela. What are you up to? Did you nut off? Hi, Mum. I sat down in the chair for a bit. I was headaches since yesterday. I went to bed with it. I felt even worse when I woke up. It's like there's a hammering in my head. All right, all right. Stay where you are, don't worry. I'm going to put it all Thank you. Anyway, I'm just getting up. Just give me five minutes, all right. Angela. Angela! Angela! Whatever is it? Mum, stop yelling at me! Angela, it was uncovered! That's why he was crying. He must have been freezing. No, he's always kicking the bedclothes off. I reckon he was feeling hot. So why is he crying then? Maybe he's hungry. Have you fed him? Yes, I've fed him. Well, maybe he's got a temperature. Angela! Angela! What? I said maybe! He has got a temperature. No, he has not got a temperature. So why is he crying then? I don't know, because he's a baby and it's quite normal. Babies cry. Oh, it's normal, is it? Oh, yeah. It's their way of talking. They can't speak properly yet, so they cry. God only knows how you are bringing this baby up. Angela, what about the music? Can the little one hear it in there? Yes. Right. So the music is working then? Yes, it's working. Well, that doctor we saw was really good. He was a genius. Yeah, he was, he was a genius, yeah. What did he say again? If you listen to classical music in the dark, it gets rid of your head. And then he said, just music. No other noises or annoying sounds. <laughs> but it's not easy, is it? Not with a baby crying nonstop. Right, so now it's the baby's fault, is that it? Oh, for God's sake, don't say that. Well, actually, Mum, I was just trying to say that... Well, it, it's true. You've been like that ever since the kid was born. Well, something must have happened. All I know is that at first I got one every now and then, but now it's just getting more often, that's all. All right, but it's nothing serious, eh? It's just your hormones. It'll sort itself out. <laughs> but not to worry. Let's hope so. Well, I must say I can't eat anything any longer, not with these teeth. Not like I ought to. The dentist wants to charge me a fortune, and I ain't got a bean. That father of yours left me with nothing. And everything I had, I spent on bringing you up. I made loads of sacrifices. When you were little, I used to go into your primary school and I would beg and plead with the teachers not to fail you because you didn't want to do your own work. Then, at home, there was all the cooking and the cleaning and or cleaning all day long. I mean, look at my hands. Look at them, they're all dried up and wrinkly. I need some cream. Can you buy me some? yourself to mine two weeks ago. Well, there's only a little bit left. There's only a tiny bit in the bottom. No, no, no. What do you mean? You see, that was a new jar. Oh, come on, Angela. No, you come on. I'm telling you, I remember. And it was nearly finished. Well, I'm telling you, I remember. I'd only used it once. Well, you rem remembering isn't very well. Look, <laughs> I remember. So there. No one cares about me here. I've made all them sacrifices, and that's the thanks I get. Bloody hell, Mum, do not start again. How many times have I got to tell you I have got a headache? And, and I am telling you that my teeth are rotting in my mouth. So what are we supposed to do then? <laughs> well, what do you think you should do? Right. I know that you need some new dentures. No. Sorry, not dentures. You don't want dentures because... Do we implants? Right. Oh, what I need? Implants, of course. And why is that then? This is what the dentist said. Unless you have implants, your jaw movement problem won't be solved. Because, because, they're, because they cost so much more, so they must be so much better. No, young lady. <laughs> the dentist is an expert, a specialist from the US. He will solve all of my problems. All right then, but I will. I'll have to talk to Antonio. Won't I, I know he'll be back soon. I know. He always finishes his physio around about this time. Exactly. Why does he have it so early in the morning? Because that's what the doctor said. Ah, oh, well, he's a very good doctor. I mean, he's yeah, a he genius. He is a genius. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's true. He's brilliant. Antonio is a lucky man. Anyway, do you know what I'm going to do? I am going to make some coffee. 
As soon as it comes in, it will be ready and it will be all lovely and hot. Right, well, you do that, you just make some coffee then. Angela, you haven't got a spoon. They're right there. There aren't any here. Oh, just have a look in the sink or in the drawers, Mum. You can't find anything here. What do you mean, just have an actual look? You can't get anything done here. Mum, please don't start off again. Honestly, no. it's a mess. It's a real mess. How on earth do you think you can run a family here with that little one? And now this poor Antonio, and he's got his problems. Don't you realise you've got to cook him a meal every day? You've got to give him clean clothes. Then when the little one gets a bit bigger and wants more looking after, how will you manage? When I was younger, I right, used to get yeah, Okay, Mum, I get it. Right, I get it. I will get up now. It's just not a good day today. Just forget the coffee, I'll make it myself. Oh, no, 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 young lady. I'll make the coffee. <laughs> oh, well, is that young man going to have a coffee when he comes in or not? Yes, I will make sure that he gets one. The least you can do for your husband is make him a nice hot cup of coffee. <sighs> Not worry about Antonio. I will make him some coffee. All right. All right. Seeing as you're up now, you can make the coffee. Manage to find a spoon. The spoon's right here. There was no need to start a treasure hunt for it, was there? It might look easy for you. Everybody creates their own mess. <laughs> what mess are you talking about? It's just that I didn't manage to tidy up yesterday because, as I've said, I wasn't feeling very well. Oh, well, here he is. Hello there. Hello, Carmella. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi, Anto. Well then, Antonio, how are you? How did the physio go? Fine. Fine. But how are you feeling? Better. Better. Do you feel like you're getting better? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Just as well, the doctor said it would take time. I mean, it's a miracle he can walk without a stick. A stick. Well, nobody calls them sticks these days. It's a crutch. A crutch. Oh, you're right. It's just that I'm old. In my days, it used to be called a stick. <laughs> anyway, whether it's a stick or a crutch, it's a miracle. Yes, of course. Angela, is Antonio's coffee ready? Antonio, we've been making you coffee for you. Nearly <laughs> ready. <laughs> Always takes a little bit of time in the pot. Thanks. Have you had breakfast? Have you had something to eat? No. Now you want something to eat, Angela? Have you got something for it? Some biscuits? Some sort of snack? No, no thanks. I, I never eat in the morning. I'm not used to it. He just has coffee, just like me. Well, you've got nothing to do with it. He's a man. He needs plenty to eat. <laughs> you see, Antonio, you must eat something. You're looking a bit run down to me. Are you eating properly? Mm. Angela, are you cooking for it? But you see, he doesn't want to eat. And he doesn't get much sleep because he's always brushing around and now that he's insurance people who are wasting so much of his time. Oh, it's such a fix. Anyway, Antonio, you've got to force yourself to eat. If you don't force it down, you're just going to get weaker, do you see? Yes, I see. Don't worry, I'm fine. On top of that leg, there's the baby. Angela, you get better slowly if you stress it out. Come on, as if my own child would stress me out. I know, I'm just saying. But you have to take care and feel comfortable at home. Now things are settling down, you must relax. I'll come and give Angela a hand if she needs it with the housework, especially with the baby. First one's always the most difficult. It's all new. Angela isn't used to it. Oh, thanks, Carmel. <laughs> there is really no need. There's no need, is there? Well, I say there is. It's not easy when you're not well, when you're not fit. I only know too well. After all, Antonia, I've got this problem with my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I can't eat, I can't sleep at night. And the pain, it gives me headaches. And it makes me throw up. I get these stabbing pains here in my face. Can you see? Antonio, look. It's like pins being added into my flesh. I know, Carmela, you've told me about it. Have I already told you? A couple of times now. <laughs> yes, it's, it's getting worse, but you've got no idea. I am sorry. And then I'm on my own. There's no one to help me. At first I could eat soft things, but now I can't even eat goes and 
dentist told me straight out that I had to have implants and that the problem couldn't be solved without them. He's asked me for loads of money. How can I manage on my own? 7,000 euros is quite a lot. But he tells me it isn't expensive for a problem that's as serious as it is. Don't you see? What can we do, my dear departed husband? God left me nothing, but it's not his fault, of course. The only thing I had left was, was Angela. And I did God's will and I gave her to you. <laughs> What's left for me? One day my home will be yours, all yours. <coughs> Antonio! Yes, Carmelo. <laughs> I told you last time that as soon as the insurance company pays out that 30,000 euro, I'll be able to sort it out. Get you some dentures good enough to eat the chewiest things. It's implants, <laughs> right. not dentures. Implants. Thank you, Antonio. That's all right. <laughs> but when are you going to hear from her? Right, but well, it takes a bit of time, Mum. Mm. Antonio goes there every day and keeps calling them. Last time they said we should get it in about 15 days, is that right? Uh, yeah. Okay then, we'll just have to wait. But you keep calling them, Antonio. You know what they like. They always take their time to pay out. Don't I know it? All right, then. I'll stop bothering you. I don't feel too good at the moment. I'm off to have a little rest. Bye, Antonio. Bye, Carmella. Listen, Angela. Make sure you make him go to that insurance company every day. Otherwise, they're going to keep you waiting for another month. Do you understand? Oh, don't worry about it. When you hear him, Antonio will make sure that you get those implants, all right? Well, to me, it's the least. You can tell me not to worry. I'm his mother in here. I'm off then. Take care. <laughs> and give that little one a kiss for me. You know, Mum, mm -hmm. maybe you could come round every now and then if you take him out for a walk, because I can't stand the strong sunlight. Of course. As soon as I'm having less trouble with my teeth, I'm going to have take him out. You take care, my love. <laughs> On, then. <laughs> Who'd have thought we'd become big fans of classical music? <laughs> if it carries on like this, little one could be a great conductor one day. <laughs> it carries on like this. Mm, waving that bloody stick about camp as you come. <laughs> <laughs> See, you can do it already. <laughs> some money. You've got to make me some money. Okay, this is how it goes. There's some guy making sacrifices, living a shit life, and then something happens. Fucking hell, he wins the lottery and he feels great. Now no one looks down on him. Next, he gets hold of a Ferrari, one that does 200k an hour and stops in 14 seconds, but you wouldn't do 200k. You go slowly as everyone's looking at you. <laughs> They're eating up with jealousy, drooling with it. Come on, make me some money. <laughs> what do you want to do when you grow up? <coughs> I want to work a petrol pump. <laughs> Why is that then? Have you seen how much money they get? Huge wads of notes, hundred lira notes, not bad. I was pictured at Caravaggio, and as you say, Dad, it was Caravaggio then. He was a painter and an important person, and I want you to be important. And you have to make a lot of money. If you make money, you can get a posh house above Posilipo with all those posh people and all rubbish on the streets. I mean, you're right, Dan. <coughs> yeah, how can I make all that money? You have to wait for the right moment to come along. 
You need to know how to recognise it when it comes along and not let it get away. You have to play the ball. You mustn't be scared. That's the difference between a winner and a dirt poor loser. Playing the ball. I mean, I see, Dad. I want to play the ball. I want to. I, I want to be important. <sighs> a wanker. That someone must have given me out of date scratch cards. I mean, they're all losers. I don't want to think. Hi, Hi uh, it's, it's Antonio. Well, uh, you say uh, you let me know today. It's uh, it's been two weeks. Oh, oh, and are you going to tell me? Okay. Uh, okay. So, how much are we talking about? Forty thousand? No, 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 no. That's that's fine. But uh, what am I supposed to do? Uh, where? Nepal? <laughs> what to Nepal? Where's that? Have you you're taking the piece? Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. Any, anyway, we'll uh, we'll talk later. Uh, no, I'll, I'll see. I I don't know. Oh, okay then. Goodbye. All right. Everything's fine. What's fine? The, uh, the little one. He soon settled down. He's put him to sleep on his tummy. Oh, good. Did well. Did you have a good rest? Listen, I uh, thought it'd be better to draw something quick for lunch. Some pasta with tomato sauce, maybe? Something like that. Okay, I mean, Angela, don't worry, that's great. Has baby been fed? Yes, he's been fed. He seems to have quieted down a bit lately. I mean, he's good. What about after the pasta? I don't know. Anyway, guess what? The other night, I threw a ball into the cot and I kicked you not, Angela. He kicked it so hard it flew through the door. <laughs> no, I reckon he's going to be a great striker. Mm. Play for Napoli, Italy even. Yeah, but what about after the pasta? But nothing. Well, what do you mean, nothing? I mean, with all that music, he could turn into a great musician. You know, a singer, a great tenor. Yeah, of course, <laughs> but not even a bit of ham or cheese. Why? Is, I mean, is there some? Well, no, but you'll have to go out and buy a few things because the fridge is nearly empty, and so. But, you know, I think football is better. All that dosh, all those women, and my surname on the back of his shirt. Fantastic. <laughs> Will you go out then? No, no, sorry. My leg's giving me a bit of trouble. I'll just make me an omelette then, shall I? Look, Angela, whatever you want. That's, anything's fine. All right. Let's see what we've got then. Anyway, as soon as he can walk, sign him up for the football school. Hello, my dear young friends. Hiya, Tore. You come on in. That I was and, expecting you. Yeah. And so, if you don't mind, I'd like to introduce you to my son, Alestro. Now, he's, um, he's being with me at the moment because uh, school's finished and I uh, don't want him staying at home on his own. This is the last thing a teenager needs. <laughs> How do you do, Alessa? You had breakfast? Do you like coffee? No, thanks. Yeah. Unfortunately, the lad hasn't got the, ha the coffee habit yet. And these days they get started late, all these kids growing up with advertising. So, what can we offer you, Angelo? What can we offer Alessandro? I don't know, Antonio. Hello, Atore. <laughs> Hello, Angela. Oh, such a lovely girl. Always smiling. If I may say so, Antonio, I think you've won the lottery of love. <laughs> Alessandro, would you like something? What's up? <laughs> you can't speak, Alessa. Cat got your tongue. Leave him alone, Anto. Maybe you're shy. Are <laughs> you shy of me? Both about the same age. If you act like that, you make me feel like an old man. <laughs> so you reckon you're the same age as him, do you? Alessa, if you would like something, then just ask. Don't stand on ceremony. Okay, thanks. See? What? He answered me. Oh, he hinted at something. He's not that old. He looks a lot younger to me. Oh, belt up. <laughs> Alessa, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> of course not, Anto, my dear old friend. Look, the lad often finds it hard to wake up in the morning. And apart from the fact that he's always been shy since the day he was born, especially with new people. Oh, you hear that, Angela? The lad's shy. What you like? You're older, so you must be right. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a glass of water? Of course. I'll get you one right away and a snack. Okay. 
Okay then. Well, well, our Sandro is uh, enjoying Angela's hospitality, and no doubt with a tasty snack. Why don't you and I, Antonio, go and sort out that little problem that you called me about earlier? All right, come on then. Let's go. Uh, Angela, we're, we're just off to uh, sort things out. Alessandro can stay with you, okay? Yeah, Alessandro, behave like a gentleman with Angela. Yeah. So then, Alessa, how's it going at school? Fine. I failed one subject, but I got good grades and all the rest. Well done. Which subject did you fail? English. Don't you like it, or...? Don't you understand it? I just can't get my head around it, you know? I just can't cope with the grammar, all those irregular verbs. I can't see any sense in it. You have to learn them by heart. And when I don't understand something, even if I learn it by heart, it just disappears out of my mind. And then the teacher, she's a right cow. <laughs> Is she strict? Well, no, she's just horrible. She makes us do things that are far too difficult. Endless poems we don't understand. Then she sets homework, which is even more difficult. She's off her head. Well, you know, if it's only English, that's all right. What's important is that you've passed all of the rest. You've got your whole life to learn English. All you need to do is well, just go there, and you'll soon pick it up. That's right. My mum my mom wanted me to, uh, to do an exchange visit. I'd go there, and an English boy would come here in the summer. But then... Aren't you going to do it? No. No, Dad couldn't stand having a, a foreign kid in the house. He's even worse than me. He doesn't speak a word of English. You got a girlfriend? <clears throat> I, uh, I dropped her a, a month ago. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you fancy her anymore? She was unfaithful to me. <laughs> What do you mean she was unfaithful to you? Don't worry, it's okay, you can laugh. I don't give a damn I'm anymore. sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was just how you put it. Who was she unfaithful with? With a friend of mine who's always pulling girls. Now, well, if he was really your friend, he wouldn't have done that with her, would he? Yeah, I suppose so, but... I don't care less about him, because that's just what he does. He's, he's good looking, he always gets the girls, but he's just an idiot. She was the one that betrayed him. She let herself be pulled because he was someone new. She's a halfling. My mum said so the first time she saw her. Uh, hi, but you know, at that age, all young girls are a bit like that. They do change their mind every now and then, you know. I know. But I felt bad because, at first, I couldn't stand not being with her. I really liked her. Was she good looking? Yeah. Yeah, she was one of the best lookers at school. A bit like you. Um, well, not quite, not, not as pretty as you, <laughs> nearly. <laughs> so I'm pretty then? Sure. Uh, did you go to the same school as me? Well, yeah, about 10 or 15 years ago now. <laughs> it's still written on the bathroom wall. Angela, you're the most beautiful girl in the world. <laughs> Angela from Form 3A is gorgeous. <laughs> and, well, another one I told you to say. <laughs> really? Yeah. I knew it was you. They all remember you. Well, anyway, Alessa, you'll, you'll find an even lovelier girl, I'm sure about that. Probably. Whatever you want. I'll bet on it. Your voice is like her. <laughs> like that girl who was unfaithful to you? No, no like, like my mum. It's really odd. Recently I found it really hard to remember her voice. I've been trying to look back and I, I can see her face. I, I can picture it clearly. But I just can't hear her voice. I thought I was starting to forget her. Then I heard your voice and she started coming back to me. Her voice is really similar to yours. A bit. Hers is a bit rougher. Are you pleased about that? Yeah. You can come round any time you like, you know. 
Thanks. It's also kind of the hair. It's, it's about the same length and same color. I just always wore it in, in a ponytail like that. Really? You know, I don't always wear it like this. I usually like to curl it, but that takes time and you have to want to do it. And at the moment, I haven't got the time or the will, so. You're not feeling well. You look tired. <laughs> <laughs> I've had this headache ever since the baby was born. Everybody says it must be all the stress. No. I'm sorry. The headaches are rotten. Don't worry, I've got used to it by now, and chatting takes my mind off it. She liked talking too when, when she wasn't feeling well. Although as the time went on, she, she couldn't really answer, she was too tired. She was fighting for air. Once she told me that every breath was <clears throat> too precious for her to speak, and that she'd rather just use it to listen to my voice. Then in the end, I, I was the only one that was talking. I used to tell her everything. What I was doing, everything about school, all my dreams. Sometimes I wasn't sure if she could actually understand, but I just kept talking anyway. So it seems I've, I've kind of caught the habit. I start talking and I never know when to stop. Hold on. I love listening to you, just carry on. Back already? No, we got it sorted straight away. Well, Alessandro had a snack. Uh, yes, thanks. Oh, now he's talking to me. Now I'll have a bit of fresh air and I feel much better. Thanks, Satori. Now we can sort things out as soon as they give us that damn money. Oh, Angela, my dear. I'm always here to help. This little love nest needs uh, attention. And uh, your love comforts me. Alessandro, let's make our goodbyes and let's get on our way. Leave them to him. Okay, good evening, Antonio. <laughs> Oh, so formal, where did that come from? You're only at ten in the morning. So you're talking to some old man at the Porta Vincenzo. <laughs> I, I know, I, I wasn't thinking. Don't do it again, man. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye, Antonia. <laughs> bye, Angela. That's better, bye, Alessa. Come and see us whenever you want. I'll let you get to know the little one as well. Oh, yes, that lovely little creature. God bless him. We'd love to get to know him. But uh, now we're a bit busy and we're in a hurry and that kind of thing takes time. Uh, but we'll be back soon and I'll bring Alessandro with me. And there we go, we are just talking about him. I'm going to go and check on him, I'll see you soon. Yeah, bye. Antonio, my dear old friend. Now, don't forget to call me the minute the money comes through. You're young and the young tend to be a bit thoughtless. And I'd hate you to have to pay something you couldn't manage just because of your own forgetfulness. The sooner that you pay what it's owed, the less the interest mounts up. But the money soon is for your own good. Yes. I told you to be sure that, you know, if we need some money. Mm -hmm. We can start saving up and, uh, you know, the little ones here. Oh, of course, I see my dear friend Anto. These, all, these days, ordinary young people like you with a small baby need 700 euros a month. Every month, that's for sure. At least. No, I just want the best for him. He's a real champion, you know, no one's going to stop me. <laughs> and I need to take him to a good doctor because he's always crying. Well, I'm no expert, but I can hazard a guess. It's uh, perfectly normal for a newborn baby. Uh, yeah, I know, but his crying's awful. There was a time when he didn't sleep a wink, even at night, and I couldn't sleep either. Now he's calmed down a bit. I still can't sleep at night. And tell me, only friend, I cannot, cannot be a, claim to be an expert on the subject of sleep. I never sleep. There's always figures going round in the head. Now, to stop myself spending all night staring at the ceiling, I've recently taken to go to the club of Palmero, where, as luck would have it, I've never seen you. And not least because the stakes are a little bit out of your reach. That's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's where well, all the players get together, you know, all of them. I can safely say that it's the only, if not the last place, where you can have a game worthy of the name. They play with cash? Yeah, two to five euro. What's the minimum stake for a game? It's 300 euro, but you must play a minimum of two games for the, for the, for the minimum stake. The stakes are usually very high on the table with a massive pot. We've seen hands turn over 1,500, 2,000 euro. 
And they keep the rate really low, they only take 5%. Yeah, what about the dealer? Does he nick any chips? Oh, my <laughs> dear, Antonio, you do make some assumptions. No such tricks are allowed at the table. Now, these are real players. They're, they're calculating experts. They're very difficult to cheat. There we are. Never been there. Used to go to a place down not a notch here, but they uh, closed it down. Yeah, yeah, I knew of it, but I never went there. That was a down market gambling den. No respect shown at the table, too many words and not enough money. Now, for Mero, it's all there. Good food served at the table, well-stocked bar, masseurs. Yeah, you feel really good there. Are we going? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry, but we were just chatting. Bye, Anto. Bye, it's all right. Angela? Angela! 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 Angela, why did you keep yelling at me? Angela, I've got to ask you something. Well, go on then. It's something important, Angela. When you act like this, it's usually something daft. Hey, if you really loved me, you wouldn't talk like that. But if you really loved me, if you found someone else who loved you as much as me... Oh, so you're saying that I really want the lottery of love when I found you. Are you really asking? Do you know that I was the best looking girl in my school? Oh, so you and Miss Italy then? Well, if you don't believe me, you can go and see what's still written on the washroom wall. Uh, well, well, my love, you miss world. Why do you think I married you? Right, so you married me just because I was good looking. Is that yeah, now you're being <laughs> big-headed. You take everything I say the wrong way. Can you just hurry up and ask me what you want? No, Angela, I won't hurry up. This is serious. Then. Are you ready? Yes. Right. Angel, pay attention. Who's not paying attention? You're looking around, you keep fidgeting. I'm, what, I'm here, Antonio, and I'm listening. No, you've got to look at me too. Right, I am looking at you. Okay. Right. You've got to keep still. Tell you what, in a minute, I might smash something over your head. Great, that's a spirit. Be aggressive. No, I'm not. Now let's get on with it then. At long last, let's go. We're going to Sampdoria, get more or less than two goals. You have to ask me now. Yes, it's really important. Well then? How the hell do I know? You, know? you don't have to know, you just have to say what you feel, what comes into your head. I don't know. Well, come on, more or less than two goals. What are the teams again? Inter and Sampdoria. More or less than two goals between them? Yes. And if they score just two goals? That means under. How can it be under two goals if it's two goals? No, because under is under 2.5. What is all of this under? What does it even mean? Don't bloody your hell, Angela. What does it matter to you? you tell me more or less than two goals. Well, what do you mean it doesn't matter to me? I'm a stupid or something. What are you trying to say? The under and over game is played on the goals of two teams scoring one match. The cutoff is 2.5 goals, so... So, if they score three goals, it's over. If they get... Nil, one or two goals, it's under. Right. And even if you score four, five or ten, it's still over. Yeah, I would have guessed that. Oh, well done. So. Over. Okay. Hello, Mojan, over? Under. That's good. Atlanta, Udinese, who will win? Draw. Can Derek Florentina? Um, are we still going to win, yeah? No, under or over? Oh, over. Right. Uh, uh, Oh, have we finished? No. Wait, look, just one more. We haven't got enough yet. Listen, we bet 20 euros on this coupon. We scoop 3,000. No, I swear. If we win, I book a flight to Ibiza. We'll get a chalet, but not one for four swords without a penny. It'll be an all inclusive holiday village with three Michelin stars. Hey, and I'll take the little one too. Here, yeah, we can leave him with the girls at the kids' club. You know, and get friendly with some little Spanish girl. He takes after me. He's an early starter. To be a girlfriend. And you, my love, can have all the spa treatments to your fancies and you can relax. You know, not, not just be a headache. And on our beat, the headaches disappear in ten minutes. <laughs> I'm telling you, then, while we're there, we're 
We're getting to date, Sam. Take lots of pictures, upload to Facebook, share them with all our friends. <laughs> Take 50 pictures a day, I put them in an album. I'm Tony and Angela on Ibiza. It'd be too big even for Facebook. But that's not all. We'll do something else. We'll bring our friends back a little present. A souvenir to Spain. Maybe a magnet they can put on their fridge to remind them every day that we went to Ibiza. And what forms of it in the first of people who don't like us? Every time they grab something to eat, they'll see that souvenir and think about one of those photos where we were eating lobster, seafood, you know, sophisticated stuff like you see on TV. <coughs> They're watching, and remember that we've eaten stuff like that. So come on, big card. Give me the last one. Torino. Torino will win, Antoine can clean with. Listen. We put 50 euro on it. We can do two or even three weeks in our visa. Isn't 50 euro a bit much, Anton? Don't worry, Mum. It's already won. You can even book the flight. We're already there. In the morning, we'll be on the beach, and then when we're all sand up, you're dancing in the evening. Just like this. No, Anton, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> you need to let me be. This makes me feel bad. It does. Oh, come on. I know you're as good as any professional oh, dancer. Oh, careful. No, 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 careful. You're tickling me. You'll make me fall over hey, if you're not careful. Have you ever seen a guy with a limp dance like this? Um, never, no. <laughs> <laughs> Look, tell me the truth. What's my style? You're very old. Yeah, come here. Antonio, yeah, didn't we? Look, you, you didn't explain a thing to me this morning. Uh, the first thing I want to know is how much time will it take to arrange this? Uh, the second, uh, whether it's safe. I mean, if I go there, will they put me under with anaesthetic and then I wake up stone dead? I don't know, no, the price, the price is okay. But I'm, I'm telling you, I want half straight away and half right after. Okay then. Now, I've, I've got an important question. No. What's Nepal got to do with it? I mean, where the hell is Nepal? And most of all, how the hell am I going to get there? And so is that you? Okay then, uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll talk about this business later. Uh, but let's see if we can get on with it. Yeah, yeah things are a bit urgent. <laughs> okay, bye. Who are you talking to? Uh, who else could I be talking to? The insurance people. Maybe it's time and night. No, no, I've got an agent's private number. Been there so often with mates. He says, call whenever you want. I took him at his word. What's up? When are you sleeping? I was half asleep. This headache's killing me, so... It'll go away soon, don't worry. It'll just be for a while. And if it doesn't go away, as soon as the money turns up, I'll take you to a good doctor. We'll see. We need the money for other things, Anto. We're so behind with everything. We've got to sort out the little one's room. Yeah, that's first on the list. And we've got to put in a shower. We've got to buy a sofa. There's no light in our room. We need some furniture. Yeah, I know, Angela. I know. Look, as, as soon as we'll get it all sorted out, all in good time. I was just saying it. I didn't want to make you worry. Yeah, I'm not worrying. I'm just tired. I know. I'll get close to you. Uh, no, no, more. Angela, please do not jump on me. <laughs> My leg's hurting. Anyway, don't sit anymore. You sit here. I'll go sit with the little one. I haven't seen him at all today. Oh, Angela, here you are. Sit yourself down.
<laughs> and my head's full of shit. Well, I have to say, you're not exactly rolling in it. You yeah. haven't got a pot to piss in. Did you really jump head first into the water with all of them sharks and with all your clothes on? No, all I wanted was a little game. Oh. And I lost, I lost 2,000 euro. I couldn't help myself. But I've got to get it back. But Anto, you know when the gods aren't smiling on you, the cards go back into the pack. Oh, making you burn money and you still drown it. No, no, but the cards were turning up. They were turning up well. I was getting the money back. I was even winning more. I had a mountain of chips and about seven, eight thousand euro. I was relaxed. Nothing scared me. I could cope with anything. The guys raised and I raised even higher. Very raised and high. An air sign of concentration. I said, all in. And they folded. I was beating all of them one by one. No one could touch me. I was the strongest one, the luckiest one. I was thinking that by this morning they'd all be talking about how Antonio broke the bank of that club in Bermudo. It was all going as predicted. But then, Tore, the most ridiculous hand in the whole history of poker showed up. I'm I'm frowning. Two queens. They all passed. Some lucky bastard raises. They all passed. Only me and me left. I raise and that bastard just looks. Flop. Queen of spades. Ten of hearts. King of hearts. And I'm holding that fantastic three queens. He could be holding anything. And I'm scared of a flush or that he's holding the ace and the jack and as a straight flush or two kings. And anyway, I lay low. I check. He checks. I'm thinking that bastard must be holding something. Turn, ten of spades. <laughs> I mean, I've got a full house, and honestly, you can't have a better full house than mine. And I'll come out with a great stake of 500 euro. And the bastard's looking at me, but he must be holding something. But not two kings, I mean, I'm feeling strong. I'm feeling, I've really scooped a good kitty, and then, I swear to you, it told me on the, on the life of that little one, I, I say, I'll get up and go. River, Queen of Hearts. And you know what I thought? I mean, I was a bit upset because I thought I was holding a great hand and the stakes weren't that high. I bet another 500. He thought about it for a minute and he raised me 1,500 euro. Would you believe it? The bastard, don't you get it? I was shaking. I couldn't believe it. All in. I said, hoping he would call me, and I was about to scoop 14,000 euro at the Tory. <laughs> and that bastard calls me right away. He didn't even take the time to check how much money there was. He yells, call. And he turns the cards over in my face. Ace and Jack of Hearts. <laughs> Royal flush. How the hell? I mean, that picture of the Queen of Hearts has dropped me right in it. A Royal flush. Tori, do you realise what that means? I give you 14,000 euro enough to tie a rope around your neck. I'm, I'm 24. I that fucking queen of hearts. I'm just guessing that uh, Angela doesn't know anything about this. No. <laughs> no, she mustn't know anything. All I had left was 500 euro, which I gave to her, but the rest is gone. Antonio, Antonio, my dear, if I give you a loan of another 5,000, That'll come to 15,000. 5,000 you had when the baby was born and I gave it to you because we all need to be treasured. But you've acted so irresponsibly. It makes me question your reliability. No, 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 no. It's all it please. I mean, if, if you give me 5,000, I'll, I'll give it straight to Angela. You know, yeah, I won't lay a finger on it. Yeah, Antonio, you must see that I have to safeguard myself. I'm concerned that it's not clear to you that this business with me isn't a game. I'm going to have to make some major changes to our arrangement. I, I, you put me in a position that I'm going to have to hurry you up. Look, 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 look. it's all right. The insurance money is on its way. I called them yesterday. Yeah, okay, all right. Okay, Antonio, it comes to 15,000. And with the 50%, but because you're a good lad, and because you've got a young family, in 10 days, you'll owe me 23,000. After that, we'll have to put it up by 2,500 a week. Got no other options? Well, today you've got nothing left. Yesterday you had it. We 
we're going to get that money. Alessandro, you right here. We'll be back soon. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry for what? I'm sorry that, that, I, that I woke you up. It's no problem. It's late and I've got a heap of things to do. Oh, by the way, I slept really well last night. My, uh, my headache's gone, so... Really? Yeah. My head feels so light. It's, it's like a balloon, honestly. Well, hope you don't fly away. <laughs> Of course not, otherwise I'd bang my head on the ceiling in the end. <laughs> <laughs> Are you feeling better? Yeah, thanks. Sorry, that's never happened before. It all just kind of came over me at once. It's normal. It would be strange if it wasn't a bit like that sometimes. Whenever you need to let yourself go for a bit, you just come here. All right, you shouldn't be shy about it. Okay. Angela, for heaven's sake, are you still here? about what that wretch of a husband of yours has been up to then. What's he been up to? Mother of God! How come you know nothing about it? You must be sleepwalking. You've got no idea how to eat, keep your husband in order. Right, Mum, stop telling me off and just tell me what's happened, please. Holy Mary, mother of God! <laughs> Let me sit down. <laughs> For your Lord. know nothing about it. I've always told you, keep an eye on Antonio, he's a big kid. But it didn't work. You took no notice of me and he drove me mad. Right, have you finished? What's with all this slagging off? Just tell me, because anything could have happened. Mum, has he betrayed me? Betrayed you? That bastard Antonio has done more than that. I heard that last night he went to the club in Vermeero and lost a fortune in cards. What do you mean? Everyone knows about it. All the money that he's borrowed. Hello, sir. What are you doing here? Don't get me involved, though. Right. Alyssa, I'm really fond of you, but this is serious. I've got that little one to think about, all right? Is that a Tory son? Antonio must be getting into more trouble. It's obvious. Alec, please. They've gone to get another 5,000 euros. To give to you without telling you what happened. Another 5,000? Bloody hell, now we could get 10,000 euro round our necks. How ever much will that interest be? Jesus, Mary and Joseph! <laughs> <laughs> There's the 5,000 that you lost, the 5,000 today, and then the 5,000 when the baby was born. When the baby was born? Angela, it makes my blood run cold. <laughs> <laughs> really, Mum, well, my blood is boiling like lava from Vesuvius and my guts are in knots. Now listen, mm. Alessa, look, you haven't told me anything, okay? Yeah. It's all right. I'm sorry. I I'll have a word with my dad, see if he can cut down the interest. No, nope, don't you get involved. It's got nothing to do with no, you. I'd be quite happy to help. Don't worry, and I'm sorry that I just got so angry just now, otherwise I'm just smashed everything on my sweat. Now, that liar is bringing my headache back on me. He is bloody liar. He promised me them implants. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Angela. Hello, Carmela. Bless you, I'm waiting for you. Off you go. Well, what's up? 
It was a coupon with the winning 13. Where have you been? I don't know. And so I don't be an idiot. What did the Tory come for this morning? I mean, nothing. See the little one with Alessandro. Isn't that right, Alyssa? What a liar. Just look at him. He's got the cheek to pretend he's got nothing to do with it. What? You've been up to something, Alessa? You know, maybe you misunderstood something. No, he didn't misunderstand at all. Alessandro, don't worry. I understand, and so does he. You're the one playing the idiot who doesn't understand. Really? What is it that you all understand? That's what you really need to ask. Listen, young man. We aren't a pair of idiots. You better not go down that road or you'll get lost in your life. Find yourself alive, alone, crying your eyes out. Oh, come on, mate. So you haven't learned a thing from your father. You sang like a bird, didn't you? Couldn't wait. The lad's got nothing to do with it. Come on, Anto. I've got to hear what you've got to say for yourself. And I've got to hear it now, or I will scream the place down, and I mean that. Woke the little one up. Oh, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> Just last it all for the, another thousand euro, all right. Right. Another thousand euro, is that right? Why, Antonio, what for? What did he say? He's got another hand on a thousand euro. Yes, a thousand. Jesus Christ, what an arsehole. He's an absolute wanker. <laughs> <laughs> I was in a hurry because I was getting a present for you. Has the man got shit? I know this isn't the time for presents, but for God's sake, doesn't my wife deserve one? And why were you at it? Did you get something for me? <laughs> You're always springing surprises, aren't you? But what have you got in that head? What is it, Antonio? Because I would love to yeah, know but why, are, that. why are you yelling like that? Yes, oh, come on, you've got to tell me the truth, or if not, I swear I will turn my hair out and I will jump out that window. I'm not messing about. Angela, why are you saying these things? Angela, for heaven's sake, we're on the second floor, you'll hurt yourself. <laughs> These two mad women. I'm sorry, I Unless you be quiet. Right, don't let this bastard upset you, I mean it. Alright, that's enough. What's up? Right. Have you borrowed another 5,000 euro? Tell yeah. me that. How come? Alessandro knows nothing. Until please. Why are you acting like this? It means that you don't love me. It means that I mean nothing to you. Nor did your son, nor did your mother-in-law. <laughs> Antonio, everyone knows that last night you lost everything at cards in that club in Vermeero. They're saying you were a sitting duck, that it was all fixed, and that all they were looking for was some cretin to screw. <laughs> Angela. Look, I know I did the stupidest thing. It's not as bad as it looks. I can get it back. What do you want to get back, Anto? What is it that you want to get back? What he has to get back. But all it do, Angela, is get into some other mess. Not at all. I mean, what do you know about cards? I mean, these things happen. 5,000 euro is not something that just happens. We need money. And all you do is you just gamble with the life of your family. <laughs> sure, that's over the top. No, it's not over the top. Right, is there anything else that you need to tell me, Anto? No, Angela, I've told you everything. I'm, I'm sorry. I can't believe it. Come on, Angela, what's up? We'll sort everything out with the insurance money. Yeah. And how much is that? A debt of 10,000 plus interest. There's still be plenty left. There would have been something left if it wasn't for the 5,000 euro that you borrowed when our baby was born. Alessa, I will smash your head in. That clever bastard's trying to ruin me. Okay, I'm told you lay a finger on that young man, you will show you are much worse than the guy you're after, and I mean that. Now you're showing your true face. When you came to ask to marry Angela, you pretended to be a good boy. What a pack of lies. You cheated me out of my daughter. <laughs> right, Alessa, go 
Madame Chita of Figo. I'm sorry. Off you go, don't worry. It's not your fault. So. You've had 5,000 euros, is that right? But what I feel really bad about is that you didn't tell me. And I don't even want to know what you had the cheek to spend that money on. I'm scared to hear what's about to come out of that man of yours. What, what makes me feel even worse is that when our baby was born, we risked losing him because we didn't have so much as a euro to pay a private gynecologist who would look after me. Oh, you made me give birth for the first half when we met in Amy. We didn't have last scans. I didn't take any medicine to make me stronger. I felt rotten and I've still got this headache and it's killing me and it's killing you. You, my husband, you swore that you would take care of me and you treated me like a collapsed out old car, which is all right, you know, but it's still running and then it breaks down and it's off to the scrapyard. I only need it to move me from here to there. Isn't that right, Antonio? When you had the accident, it was what meant most to you, you couldn't move. You said I'd never be a real man again. You were completely <coughs> useless. Do you remember? I remember. So what are we going to do now? With all that money you borrowed, how much will we have left? And do not try to lie to me. I'll kill you. And so I swear to God. If, if I get the money by next week, I have 7,000 euro left. And what can we do with 7,000 euro? Well, I'd rather not say, but it is urgent. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I made a mistake, but, but I found an answer. I can get my hands on another 40,000 euro, and with that, we can sort everything out. Right. And how are you going to get that? Is it another one of those stupid bets of yours? Oh, no, no, and I'll leave the betting out of it. I'm but I'm going to Nepal. To do what? I'm, I'm going to sell a kidney. And they'll give me 40,000 euro. <laughs> Are you kidding? Have you gone out of your head? Right, you're going to Nepal to sell a kidney. No, 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 right. This time you have really lost the plot, Anto. I'll tell you that. Angela, it's, it's quite simple. It's nothing. Can you ever wish that you're talking? A kidney? You don't even know what kidneys are for. <laughs> How will you manage if they take one of your kidneys? Have you any idea the problem, Jill? I've got only one kidney. Nepal. <coughs> so have you any idea? You're joking, right? You're joking. No, Angela. I'm I'm quite serious. It's not joking, it's really serious. And what about the little one, eh? You think you can solve all of our problems with a kidney? Right, I'm feeling bad that headache's coming back. I'm going to have to go and have a lie down. Oh, Angela. I tell you, Angela, do not touch me. You need to just let me be. I cannot fight with you anymore, we'll talk about it later. Need a rest. Let's lie down.
talk about. <laughs> now, all of a sudden, you've taken it into your head to pop off to Nepal. And I am a bit worried when you're young and you're a bit unreliable. <laughs> but you're a good lad. I've got to go out. I've got to sort the situation. Will you uh, stay here with Angelo? <laughs> yeah. Don't think she's feeling too good. I uh, keep an eye on little one. Of course. I'll take care of him, but where are you going now? <coughs> and you don't get into any more trouble. You don't even listen to a word I said. He's got a head like a donkey and he walks like a penguin with a limp. <laughs> system. Floor fixed, five rotating, 100 euro over. Maximum wind, 5,000 euro. I can get that. I can get that. Oh, fucking hell, it's unbelievable. I, oh, it's against me. I'm scratching wind. 20 euro. Super million euro. I'm scratching. I'm scratching. Give me a number. Give me a number. Shit! My super N auto, super star system, 50 euro. This combination, this combination. Oh, bloody hell, it's too difficult. It's a slot machine. Change your hundred euro. Here's a super jackpot. Fifteen thousand euro. Give me a three. Give me a three. It's a the fuck off. <laughs> Win for life. Combination. Big number. Fifty euro. The payout. The payout for life. I'll sort it all out in time. God. Why won't you give anything? Five hundred euro on Napoli's one. A goal. A goal. Score. A goal. What the fuck are you doing? Nil bill against the bottom club. Scratch and win. Two scratching win, three scratching win, 60 euro, I'm scratching, I'm scratching, I'm scratching, give me a number. Oh, holy mother of God, super and a lotto, 10, a lotto, both set of three and four, all the turns, 20 euro, 30 euro, 50 euro, 100 euro, nothing, missing a number, missing one, and I slot machine, roll, roll, fruit, star, bar, change me 100 euro, roll, roll, fruit, star, bar, change me another 100 euro, another 100 euro, nothing. But I win for life. I will win for my whole life. I... Nothing. I lose. I lose for my whole life. Antonia. Antonia. Good evening, dear lady. I'm looking for Antonio. Would you like some coffee? I'm working up. Oh, no, thank you. Co drinking coffee at this time of night makes me jumpy. I'd rather not. Now, don't, you, don't, don't you worry about it, dear lady. Just tell me where he is and I'll bring him round. He's right there in the chair. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. that's fine. Is so uh, your daughter sleeping? She is. She's, she's had a terrible day. It seems like a lot of people in the room. Well, I can imagine it, dear lady. Just do one thing for me, please. Yeah, pour me a cup of that coffee. The, the delicious aroma has made me want one. Yeah, all right. Victoria, 
what are you doing? <laughs> what am I doing, my dear? Justice. I'm getting my just desserts for the lack of faith that this prick of a son-in-law of yours has shown me. It's a young man I opened my heart to, and this is all the facts I get. Treachery and a pack of lies. He deserves to drown in the filth of his own, of his own arrogance. Oh, I'm right, aren't I? You deserve this. For heaven's sake, what are you doing? If you carry on like that, you're going to kill him. Oh, yeah. He's going to give you the money. Why are no. you doing that? Because, my dear lady, Antonio has spun his web very well, but he's forgotten that there's only one spider, and that's me. So you wanted to screw me, eh? Well, now I've come here to screw you. I've heard the news, and it's true. The money, the insurance money, came through three months ago. And he spent the lot. Dear Antonio has spent every penny. But no one knew about it, because he left town to go a long way away to another town to do his dirty work. Didn't you? I'm right, aren't I? <coughs> <coughs> right, I'm going to tell you straight. Is it only I, Ettore, who ends up being screwed? Now, I'll skip the bit about asking how you are going to sort this out, and I'm going to sort it out the problem myself, because, as the saying goes, God helps them who helps themselves. I'm going to break the other leg. Then a very dear friend of mine, someone trusty and loyal, unlike you, is going to write to the insurance company and say that they ran you down. And then when the money comes through, I'm going to collect it. But with the interest, of course. Now come on, it. let's get this over with. Get in late. It's all right. I'm going to smash it. Listen, listen, if you struggle, I'll show you what it really means to me. It's all right. Give me the leg, come on. He'll kill me or the best put me in a wheelchair. <laughs> Only feed me through a tube. And I, was, I see this. We can't sort this out by being good. We either drink or we drown. What does that mean? It means that he's got to disappear. We've got no money to give him. You're under Antoris then. Unless you pay it back. If you get rid of him, you get rid of the debt. What a shit situation. What do you want to do? Are you listening? Are you listening? He said no other way. Oh, sure. Grab the hammer, smash your own leg, and then smash your head in as well. I don't know. <laughs> and so, you've got a little one. Don't you want to take him to school? Don't you want to play football with him? No, of course I do. Well, then how are you going to do that with no legs? Scared the 
life out of me. There'll be blood all over the floor, and well, who's going to clean up after? What's the problem with clean up? I'll clean up. No, Antonio. Oh, for God's sake, woman, don't stop me. It's bad enough already, so just shut no, up. No, no, it's not the cleaning up that it's the problem. It's that as soon as he's dead, we've got to get rid of the body. And it's got to be disposed of. And if there's blood everywhere, well, there's bound to be traces left. Well, you're right, so what the fuck do I do? You've got to kill him, but without making a mess. I don't know how to do that. I'm not a serial killer. <laughs> Drown him. Put him water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, open up the bathtub. A... What's the matter? I've got to watch him feeling dizzy. No, just, just confused. I don't know. I'm, I'm about to kill a Christian. He's a Christian. He's a bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Lace. 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 Now I use the lace to suffocate him. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
you sort of told me the tell the truth. Angela, you, you just got to wake up. You're living in fairyland. That bastard wanted to break your husband's legs and put him in a wheelchair. What was I supposed to do? You're already in a big enough mess. What would you do with a crippled husband? And tell you made a mistake. But he could have destroyed his whole life just to meet that bastard's demands. Let's get this straight. It's because he wanted his filthy hands on all of your money. If Antia Antonio decided to con the insurance and break the other leg, we should be all right. What are you talking about? I don't want to con anybody. Hey, just listen to yourselves. The pair of you are crazy. You're crazy. You've done all of this, all of this for money. Is that it? <laughs> Not for money, Angela, for freedom. Antonio. From shame. The shame I feel when people look at me and they know I'm skinned. I am on the balls to make enough money. And I have to be slapped around by an asshole. It's the way people look at me, Angela. I need freedom from people's looks. And so you thought you would stop people looking at you by killing that young man's father, is that it? We killed him. All of us together. <gasps> Hello! Hang on. So you want to drop me in it too? Is that it? You're all ready. I please. tell you what, just fuck off and so I mean it! Angela, oh, the kid has to die. What? No, please, Angela, say something. Right, don't worry, Alessa. Oh, Angela, oh, don't, don't interfere. Oh, really? Right. Because what are you going to do? Are you going to kill me soon? Is that it? Angela, keep that. Let him get on with what he's got to do. Okay, just, just keep away from me. Hello, sir. Hello, just, just keep away from me, okay? Uh, I'll throw him on the floor. I swear I'll do it. Alyssa, give me baby. I want to get away from here, Alanta. I, I want to go home! Antonio, the little one is your bed. Just do something! Leave the little one alone. I will really make you suffer. No, Antonio, I'm, I'm not going to give him to you, okay? You keep away from me or... or I'll crush his skull with my own hands. Or I'll kick his skull and I'll do it! Right, Alessandro, you need to calm down a minute. You've got to listen to me. I know that you don't want to hurt my baby. And I know that. I know that because you're like us. And you're a good lad. Oh, Angela, make him pull the little one down. For God's sake, shut up, Antonio. No, I won't shut up. That's my son. Why do you think he is my son, too? If anything happens to that baby, I will tear you to bits. Alessandro, when you hurt him, you will be hurting me. And if you kill him, then I will die too. I know, I just, I just want to go home. I know. And I swear you can go home. I will not let Antonio lay a finger on you. I, I don't mean, believe you. You've got to believe me. I promise you. Right. I will give you my life in exchange for the baby's life. I will give you my whole life, all of my love, all for you, and I'll, I will be your mum. I will take care of you, and no one will ever take you away from me. But you've got to leave that baby alone. You need to leave the baby alone, and you and I will go away from here together, forever. You swear? I swear. I want that baby! You want the baby. The baby. That's for you. All you care about is the baby. Oh, no, Angela, I care about you too. Don't, Antonio. If you really cared about us, you would have got us into this mess in the first place. What are you saying, Angela? Look around you. Does it look like you've been taking care of us? 
look at me? Does it seem like there's anything inside or outside of me that you really care about? No, Angela. I... You, you what? You don't even know what to say to me. Does you care about the baby? And you care about a good game to bet on to make your pathetic dreams come true? But I'm not going to play this game with you because this game of yours is a load of shit. And even if I lose everything, I won't sacrifice all this antro for you because it will fall to pieces if I have to stay and watch things go from bad to worse. Unable to say a word, I'm just shut up imprisoned in this shit all of home. Well, you want to play a game with me, do you? Well, then let's play, but I, I will set these stakes, and this is the bet. Right, if you win, Alessandro will give you the baby, and he and I will disappear forever. And you will never see us again, and I mean that. And I swear to you, on the life of my baby, my own, that no one will ever know a thing about this business. Look, Angela, this is not a good solution. Shut up, Mum! You have already done too much! Do you not think that I'm mad at you too? You made me believe that this would be my life. Having kids, staying at home, waiting to get old, taking medicine for my illnesses just to survive a little bit longer than other people. You're a Selfish bitch, Mum! So I'm a selfish bitch, am I? What about you? Leaving your husband and a child for a kid you hardly even know. I do know him, actually. Because I have talked to him. And he has listened to me. And I have listened to him. Like a mother and a child. Do you think you know what that's like, Mum? Do you, do you know that feeling, do you? And you know, do you know what I'm going to say? I'm going to say, you do whatever you want. I just don't want to know anything about it. Well, that's wrong, because you have to know all about it. And since you're involved in it, you have to play too. You have to promise to give Antonio a hand bringing up that baby, but properly. Not just pretending like you usually do, but you promise me that one. You need to promise me that, Mum. Yes, of course. But, Anto, if I win, you can get rid of the body. Alessandro will stay here, and he'll live with us, and you will care for him, like your own son. Yeah, I don't give a damn how you do it, because you know what? You, my friend, are off to Nepal. <laughs> and you're going to bring that 40,000 euro back here and you are going to give it to me. Otherwise, I will go to the police and I will tell everybody what you've done and then that little one, your precious son. Well, who knows how you'll end up, eh? So, Antonio, what do you say? What do you say? Shall we play? What are we going to do then? You decide. On to 50 50. Can't say heads or tails are sorted. Just as you like. Alessandro, keep holding the baby. 